Hi, I'm Nikki Salfer. I'm the president of Learning Tree, which is a comprehensive psychoeducational program for children and adults. The most common question that parents ask me when we're going through the ADHD diagnosis process is, should I put my kid on medicine? And here's what I answer to them. Number one, Putting children on psychotropics is an individual parental decision. They need to explore that option with a pediatric neurologist, clinical psychologist, or their pediatrician. It's a parental choice. That being said, whether or not you make that choice to do that, you still need the next two pieces. Research shows that if effectively working with children or adults with ADHD, they need the combination of the following. Cognitive behavioral therapy, with if you choose to do the medication and they need a lot of coaching on how to effectively work and train executive functioning skills. Executive functioning skills are the ability to be able to manage your time, space, and um, tasks. So at all ages and in different stages, managing your time, dealing with your tasks, and, and creating an organizational way of life is different. One of the suggestions that I always give to parents is if it's a young child or a child in their teens, the parents themselves need to go part of that training because everything around that child, everything that surrounds that child has to function within that, 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 that order. Okay, now if it's, a, if it's an adult or it's a, a kid in college and they're now managing their own time, I find it very effective for them to be working with a coach, somebody that helps them, somebody that keeps them on the right path, somebody that they can have an honest conversation. It was a tough day, I made this calendar, I wasn't able to keep the calendar, how do I go back to that? So I really strongly suggest coaching for all levels, it just depends on if it's a child, then you want to have the parents very heavily involved in that coaching. And if it's an adult, the coach needs to be working directly with that adult.